Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. I get a lot of questions concerning gasoline. And we have with us today Brian West from Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Brian, welcome to Goss's Garage. Thank you for having me, Pat. All right, now your team oversees the government's uh, fuel economy webpage. That's right, we do. There's uh, fuel economy data there for every vehicle sold in the U.S. since 1984. All right, now are there any trends that you're seeing? Yeah, I was looking at the data recently from since about 2000, more and more manufacturers are recommending or requiring premium. If you look at model year 2016, there's over 1,200 records there. About 15% of them are premium required cars and 30% of them are premium recommended. If you go back to 2000, it was only uh, about a fourth of the cars that were premium recommended. Okay. All right, now some of the common questions that I hear. Number one, what is octane? Octane is a chemical property. It's a measure of the fuel's resistance to auto ignition. In normal spark ignition combustion, what we want to have happen, we want the spark to ignite the mixture. We want it to burn rapidly and smoothly and build pressure and push down on the piston. If the octane number is not high enough, however, sometimes some of that unburned fuel before the flame front gets across the combustion chamber, it'll spontaneously ignite or detonate, causing ping. And that's a, that's a bad thing. It can be annoying to listen to, but in the worst case, it can actually cause engine damage. All right, but uh, now on modern cars, uh, we don't hear pinging. That's right. A lot of cars today, you won't hear the knock because the car has a knock sensor. Since the 80s and 90s, uh, vehicles have been equipped with these. It's basically a microphone, and it tells the engine control unit that it hears knock, and it's generally going to hear it way before the consumer, and it's going to mitigate that knock by retarding the spark timing, the knock will go away in most cases, but um, it's going to come at the cost of efficiency and the cost of power. Okay. Now, other common questions. Uh, is there more energy in a gallon of premium? That is a common misconception, and there is not. The energy density is not correlated to octane number. Uh, more cleaning agents? Uh, in some cases, that may be true. In fact, some manufacturers recommend premium because uh, the, the fuel sits in, can sit in the tank a long time, say in the case of a plug-in hybrid. Okay, and the last thing that I get a lot of questions about, the, my fuel filler door doesn't correspond with the language in my owner's manual. That can be misleading. This, this Miata here says premium recommended. On a lot of premium recommended cars, the fuel filler door might actually say premium fuel only. If you check the owner's manual, it'll tell you exactly what you're supposed to do and what's in the owner's manual agrees with what's in the federal website. So the premium required versus the premium recommended are very different. If you, if you put 87 in a premium required car, and this is an owner's manual for a car that, that uh, is premium required, it tells you you're, gonna, you're probably going to hear knock and you're going to definitely have a big loss of performance. Okay. Well, Brian, I want to thank you. And if you have a question or a comment, how about dropping me a line right here at Motor Week?